Hey there folks, Comics Gatekeeper here. My uh, my Doom Patrol complete run arrived. As you can see from the video, it's, it's a gigantic telephone book sized beast. Ah, let's see, the cover's got all the characters on. And, okay, we've arrived at the Antarctic. Bad things are occurring, and we might be getting a John Carpenter pastiche where they meet McCready. <laughs> from the thing. Okay, what do we got? That's a British base somewhere. Probably. Yeah, there. Oh, here we go. Everyone's frozen, and there's a giant Cthulhu beast on the, on the loose. A cold night's death. <laughs> hey, do you like the new costumes I've just invented? They're supposed to be red and white, they're not supposed to be black and white. Ah, nudge the teenager as being an annoying teenager. I can't tell the difference between Larry Trainer and um, the fellow with the blue face anymore. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Nudge wants to take the weekend off. Niles Calder being hundreds of years old is, <laughs> is not having any of it. And she goes off in a strop. Then they get a super emergency channel telling them there's trouble in the Arctic. We need the Doom Patrol. Blue faced man looks. Is it weird that the superheroes look strange in normal clothes rather than their jumpsuits? Seeing that fellow in just a normal shirt is really odd. Yes. Um. Oh, here we go. They have a shuttle. It's one of those shuttles that launches up into the edge of the atmosphere, then sort of rides down again. So they can get across the world in a matter of hours. When I was a child there were theories that that was going to be the future of like passenger travel. They'd shoot you up and then drop you down and it would you'd get to like Australia in like four hours or something. Oh well, never panned out. But yes. Every train still does look like look like he's wearing a gimp mask though. Okay, so they've arrived in the base. There's a big beast nearby, and the lights are still on. Now, uh, she, no, she's trying to. He's being taught to use telekinesis, and she's only a mind reader. And then she quits her strap because she's a teenager, and as such, an annoying cunt. The teacher realizes that she's actually managed to push it through the solid metal of the coffee table, and then she meets a ghost of the Civil War. <laughs> I think this is going to be one of those long lingering plot lines. Here we go, yeah. That um, will pop up in a few issues. Yeah, here we are. Back, the landing in the Arctic, meeting everyone. And they've set up an inflatable base near the other base because the monster's lying on it. Uh, yes. Apparently, they, they believe there might be people under there where it's popped out. So, Rita Far gets huge, lifts the thing out. Cliff and Larry look through the wreckage, hopefully for the people, and then more of the, more of the bastards arrive. Cliff has the strength of Superman, so he's going to fuck the shit up. And Rita wrestles with it and then realises it's dead. The scientists think that maybe the, uh, the atmosphere or the uh, chemical mix down in the middle of the lake is very different to being on the surface, so they died of shock. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, the gorilla's got himself a superhero suit as well. With DP written on it for some reason. Uh, whatever floats your boat. But no, at least it's better than the other outfit, which I will not mention again. And, yeah. So he's happy with it. And, what have we got? Uh, Nudge has, des has desecrated her outfit, making herself look like a stripper. But the chief doesn't have time for her shenanigans. So yeah, they're preparing to send Larry down on a drill. Uh, Rita's inside his head to, for safekeeping. And away he goes. Down through the ice. And then he says, I'm getting a little bored here. <laughs> and now he's in the depths of the ocean. And he breaks open a light flare. And of course we just know there's going to be some hideous horror right in his face as soon as the light penetrates the dark of the o of the underwater lake yep <laughs> <laughs> yep 
Yes, with loads of them. I wasn't. I was expecting one big giant one, him to be like tiny in scale, but no, they, they did something slightly different. But yes, I like it. Um, this is the first one I really enjoyed. I was very, very excited to see what happens next. So that is what a comic should do. There was action. There was a mystery. There was some excitement, adventure. I even enjoyed Nudge being an annoying prick. <laughs> But yes, so a lot better, a lot more, ugh, a lot of improvement over the, the uh, other two. So, the uh, stunning conclusion will probably be in the next issue, I'm hoping. And we'll see what these Cthulhu fuckers are all about. Okay, take care folks, later.